It was one of several demonstrations across the country. Another one took place this morning in front of Phoenix City Hall, where people were calling for every vote to be counted. We need to make sure we're taking our country back. And the only way to take our country back is with the silent majority that has started to come out into the vocal majority. A group of about 75 Trump supporters made sure their voices were heard outside Phoenix City Hall today. Are we accepting of all people? Yes! Are the Democrats racist? Yes! When they don't get their way, what do they call Trump supporters? Racist! racist. A coordinator of the event, Jed Smith, has one thing on his mind. So we want every vote to be counted, and but we want to make sure that every vote was is legally counted. And so, in terms of that, for like Arizona, we've had we've seen the uh, rise of the Sharpie issue, and you know things where some votes are being discounted. The message is clear. And so was the support. People came out from different demographics and ages, including 14-year-old Anthony Gallegos. Trump is going to win. Trump has won. It's just that buy-in in his crooked ways. Although the Wells Fargo building down the block had boarded up, supporters stated that the group was peaceful, and most Trump supporter-led protests would remain so unless First Amendment rights were brought into question. People I spoke to said that if those rights were challenged, quote, I think that's going to be a problem.